sufficiently boost NAD in a sustainable way, you actually need to fix the underlying issues within the cell that are causing NAD to decline. In other words, you need a combination of interventions that goes far beyond simply providing the cell with precursor ingredients, but actually restores the body's ability to make and recycle its own NAD, just like it did when it was younger. So again, going back to our little diagram, how do we actually do this? So you need to use what we describe at Nichido as a whole system approach. And this means doing multiple things. It means looking exactly what's going on at the biology and trying to fix the individual components instead of kind of just ignoring them like many other companies do. So to boost NAD efficiently, there's, there's a, a multiple things you need to do. The first thing is that you need to increase the cell's ability to make its own NAD because cells are really very good at making NAD when they're young. Uh, they just lose it as they get older. And to do this, you can actually increase the levels of this NAMPT enzyme and increasing NAMPT, the rate limiting enzyme that actually recycles NAD, it means that you can increase the cell's ab ability to recycle NAD from the waste nicotinamide. So you, you are improving this recycling capacity, which is actually declining with age, but works perfectly well in young cells. The other thing that's really important to note is that older cells are really wasteful of NAD. There's multiple other things that have gone wrong in cells, which are causing them to, to just chew up NAD unnecessarily. And one of the really important ones is CD38. Expression of this enzyme massively increases as you get older and it's linked to levels of inflammation in the body, which increases as you get older. And actually, CD38 uses so much NAD that even if you can inhibit CD38 just a little bit, you can massively increase NAD levels without even doing anything else. So looking at CD38 inhibition is incredibly important to stop the cell from wasting NAD because there's no point making it and trying to boost it if your cells are just wasting it. So the next part of this presentation, I'm actually going to take you through all of the ingredients that Nichido Time Plus has in it. And I'm gonna to explain to you exactly what they do in our formulation and how they work together to boost NAD levels. So first of all, Sephora Japonica. This is one of the ingredients that we have in our formulation. And the dried flowers of the Sephora Japonica tree contain the powerful flavonoids, quercetin, rutin, and troxrutin. Now, these flavonoids were selected for our formulation based on their ability to increase levels of the NAMPT enzyme. So remember, this is the enzyme that is absolutely critical or rate limiting for the recycling of nicotinamide back into fresh NAD, but it actually declines with age, meaning nicotinamide can't be recycled, the nicotinamide builds up, you get methyl donor depletion. So this group of flavonoids actually increase NAMPT enzyme levels and therefore improve NAD recycling and production. Now, as well as their NAD boosting capabilities, there's also robust scientific evidence to show that these flavonoids also have an, like a whole host of other range of health promoting benefits, including antioxidant effects, anti-inflammatory effects, and also highly topical right now, antiviral properties. So additionally, We've also got quercetin in there, which falls under the category of substances known as senolytics, which I won't go into today. I know some of you will be familiar with senolytics, but these compounds clear senescent cells from the body. The next ingredient is green tea extract. So you'll all be aware that green tea is one of the healthiest beverages on the planet. Um, and much of this is accredited to the powerful compound that it, it contains called epigallocatechin 3 gallate which is abbreviated to EGCG. And in Nichido Time Plus, EGCG is used to inhibit the methylating enzyme NNMT. So if you remember, this is the enzyme that is actually methylating the buildup of nicotinamide um, and excreting it from the cells. So it's actually promoting excretion rather than recycling. And you find that you get an increase in the levels of this enzyme as you get older. So EGCG inhibits this. And it fate meaning that you 
it actually helps the cell to favor NAD recycling over methylation and excretion. So studies have also shown that green tea in regular consumption of green tea extract also reduces blood pressure, cholesterol, and also various other anti-inflammatory markers. So it also has a whole host of other extended health benefits. So next on the ingredients list is alpha lipoic acid, which is often referred to as ALA. Now, ALA is a natural compound that helps to boost NAD in two levels. And so basically the two ways that it does this is firstly, it activates a cellular energy sensor called AMPK, which is seen here. And what AMPK does is it leads to increased NAD levels by actually activating the NAMPT enzyme. Now, this pathway here, this AMPK NAMPT link, is actually the same pathway that promotes the beneficial effects of exercising and fasting. The other way that ALA works is down here. It actually converts or promotes the conversion of NADH to NAD. So remember I said at the start, the NAD consists in two forms and actually the ratio of, of NADH to NAD is incredibly important. And as we get older, the ratio tends to drift towards NADH, which is unfavorable. So what happens is there is an enzyme NQ01, which actually oxidizes NADH back to the favorable NAD and restores the ratio. And ALA is known to activate this enzyme here. So again, as with many of our other ingredients, ALA also has extra benefits and it's known to be incredibly important in um, anti antioxidant effects. And it does this by activating important cellular defense molecules such as NRF2, which activates glutathione and other antioxidant defenses in the body. Um, and another thing to, to just mention here is that um, a lot of supplements that contain ALA, if you look at the back, they contain a 50-50 mix um, of, of, you'll see it labeled as R-ALA and S-ALA. So basically R-ALA is the natural form of ALA and S-ALA is the unnatural or synthetic form. However, there are numerous studies that have shown that only the R or the natural form can be used by our body. And actually the, the S form has no effect. So in our product, we do not use a 50-50 mix. We only use the R ALA. So this is the highest quality ALA that you can get that actually has the benefits. So the other ingredient that we have is parsley powder. And obviously this has a lot of culinary benefits, but um, it actually also contains multiple compounds with significant health benefits. And one of these um, molecules is apigenin. So apigenin is scientifically proven to inhibit the inflammatory protein here, CD38. So this is the one that chews up a load of NAD and it's expression, you know, increases several fold as we get older. And just by inhibiting CD38 a little bit, you can actually significantly increase NAD levels. And parsley is known to be one of the best natural sources of apigenin. And that's why we include it in the Cheeto Time Plus to boost NAD by reducing the activity of this CD38 consuming NAD consuming pathway. And also, again, another benefit is that apigenin is being found to reduce anxiety. And also parsley is rich in a lot of other antioxidants that protect cells from damaging free radicals, which is obviously also important in anti-aging. Now, only after fixing all of these other problems that I've mentioned in the cell, is it even worth using an NAD precursor? So in the Cheeto Time Plus, we use nicotinamide as the precursor to give your cells an adequate supply of the raw material that they need to make NAD. So the reason we use nicotinamide is because despite all of the hype surrounding NR and NMN, all scientific data shows that the majority of NAD in the body is made from recycled nicotinamide via the salvage pathway the body likes to make NAD out of nicotinamide. And not to mention the fact that nicotinamide is actually the most bioavailable NAD precursor out of all of them. Now, supporters of NR and NMN 
tend to use the argument that you shouldn't take nicotinamide because it's a sirtu inhibit inhibitor. But actually, if you look at all of the studies that they cite, all of these experiments were firstly done in vitro, meaning that they were done in isolated cells in Petri dishes using very high concentrations of nicotinamide that would never usually be reached in physiological conditions found in the body. Because remember, the body has homeostasis. It doesn't let things get too out of whack before it puts them right. And if you view the data even more closely, what you will find is that as long as the body actually has the capacity to convert nicotinamide to NAD via the salvage pathway, nicotinamide never actually gets a chance to hang around long enough in the cells to build up to such inhibitory levels because it's rapidly converted to NAD, which in turn actually activates the sirtuins. And you can see this by the data that I presented earlier, which basically shows that Nichido Time Plus despite containing nicotinamide, actually boost levels of SIR activity. In addition, nicotinamide's also got a lot of other benefits, um, even when inhibited at therapeutic high doses, for example, help with skin disorders, diabetes, neuronal damage, and also in various inflammatory diseases. So finally, as well as all the ingredients that I've already mentioned, um, we also have some other supportive ingredients in our formulation um, just to enhance the health benefits. So the first one to mention is black pepper extract. Um, and the reason we put this in is because it contains the active molecule piperine. So piperine is actually used to help increase the uptake of nutrients from the small intestine because it allows um, various active molecules as well as the ones we including many of the ones that we've got in our formulation to enter the blood and access the rest of the body and get to the cells more easily. So this is basically added to Nichido Time Plus to improve absorption of the active ingredients. And piperine is also known to be beneficial because it actually boosts metabolism by activating thermogenesis, um, which is a process that breaks down fat cells. So that's an added bonus. Then we've got good old vitamin C here. Um, so we also add vitamin C because as well as have a reputation of being able to fight infections, its health benefits actually start far beyond immunity. So people who actually take regular doses of vitamin C have been found to live longer than people that don't. And this is likely due to the fact that it reduces inflammation, it protects the integrity of DNA, and it reduces biomarkers of cellular stress. And finally, we've got zinc. So as we age, there is a progressive decline in our immune response. And, you know, that is so relevant right now to the world that we're living in. And supplementation with zinc has been helped to found reduce this impairment of the immune system. So that is why it is included in our formulation. Now, finally, just a slide on uh, the safety and tolerability of, of Nichido Time Plus. Um, so basically, we're a UK company. So Nichido Time Plus has very high, high standards because we comply with all UK and EU food supplement regulations, which are known to be pretty stringent. Um, and this includes the Food Supplements Directive, which basically lists the vitamins and minerals which are permitted for use in food supplements, and also the recommended levels of use. And all of the ingredients in Nichido Time Plus are on this list and have been assessed and approved by the European Food Safety Authority or EFSA, which you might know it as. We also had our clinical trial, which I mentioned, um, that had 24 people. We had absolutely no adverse reactions. Um, we've been selling the product for over a year and haven't had any adverse reactions reported. The um, product is vegan and gluten-free. And also just to note that Nichido Time is manufactured to really rigorous pharmaceutical standards. And I think that obviously comes from my background in drug development. Um, it's what we used to do in and our facility follows GMP standards and is also an FDA inspected facility.